Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. I, I can't remember what's in here, but it's from my buddy Dionisio, uh, who always sends really cool stuff to the channel, so I'm very excited to see what's in here. Thanks so much for sending this or these in. Again, I can't remember. If it's something I can link, I will link it right down below in the description. It does help my channel when you use those links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex, where I have really cool pictures and videos of knives, and you just might see things before I unbox them on the channel um, if you needed an incentive to follow me over there. Okay. All righty. Why am I doing both sides? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm cutting open both ends. Okay, we got uh, we got this side here. We got some shiny stuff in there. What do we got here? Space dog. Maybe this is just the... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, it's a Microtech. What the heck do we have here? Uh, here's the knife for review. Glad I can be of help. Uh, continue with all the great content. Always a joy to watch your videos. Keep them coming. Doing a fantastic job on reviews. Thank you very much. Here is his information right here. So make sure that you give him a follow. It's because people like him that I'm able to bring you guys daily knife content. No, he did not give me this knife. This will go back to him when I'm done. What do we have? <gasps> Oh, now I remember because I can see the name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll link Microtech Knives down below and you guys can like try and, you know, check things and be ready. But uh, I think this is kind of a rare bird. This is their new one. Oh, oh man. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. So, are these a combination of titanium and aluminum? What is this? <gasps> Wait! Can they be? No way. Oh, it can be deployed however you want. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, that is intense. Oh my God, I have never seen an OTF like this. Oh my God, that is wicked. Well, I gotta, gotta have that. Man, I love this. Oh, it's so snappy too. <laughs> I never thought that I would um, retract. This really does work. I mean, it's very narrow. Truthfully, it is easier to, I was thinking like, do, can I deploy it like with fingers? Above? It's much easier to just use a thumb and then to pull back with two fingers. That actually works. Or just use the side switch, right? However you like to deploy it and retract it. Honestly, is that necessary? No, but it does add a layer of cool factor that only people who regularly buy knives in this territory will, it, well, not necessarily only people who not buy knives in this territory will enjoy, but... More so, it's for the people who are actually buying this stuff. This is wild, and I lo I absolutely love the look of this. This is sick. I, I honestly don't even mind that. Look at that. We've we got a we got an Ambi uh, OTF. I mean, a lot of OTFs are, are Ambi, right? But a truly ambidextrous OTF, and they did decide to go ahead and mount uh, or offer a mounting position uh, for the pocket clip on the left side. So lefties, there you go. We have a dagger, well, it's a, it's a sharpened bayonet grind, which is absolute, it's so cool. This, honestly, I would take, how they did this, I would take this on every single dual, like, edged OTF that I have. This is perfect. You still get a second edge. It's shorter. Yeah, it's shorter, right? Personally, I wouldn't go with the serrations, but it's not like you can only get this in serrations. It's Microtech. They're going to offer half serrated, half standard, or both standard, or full serrated. This is like... A half edge and a two thirds edge, and the, the rest of it's serrated, right? So you, you know, you, you pick your poison, right? But I would take every single dagger ground OTF 
just like this. They actually give you a spot for, look at the upside down sharpening choil there. They give you a spot so that you can put your finger down on the jimping, right? And people saying, that's dangerous, that's dangerous. No more dangerous than having a forward choil, huh? All right, calm down, Sally. Why did I say that? <laughs> Bill, Sally, whoever you are. Um, but uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. I'm really impressed with the action. Uh, the lockup is exactly the same as like my Scarab or my Combat Troodons. Very minimal blade play. Action is super snappy. I would compare this to the action on my Combat Troodon. Uh, not quite as powerful as the Scarab 2, but definitely as powerful as the Dirac Delta, Combat Troodon, right? All of those. Let's do um, some measurements and get the weight on it. This is not the biggest. Oh, in fact, I'm going to give you. I'm going to do some size comparisons for you guys, just so we can um, we can see what we're looking at against many other, um, you know, Microtech knives that people really enjoy. Let's do this. And where's my Ultra Tech? Is it over here? Yeah. Okay. So, size comparisons up against some other common Microtechs. This is the Ultra Tech. This would be the Combat Troodon. So I would say in between the size of the Combat Troodon and Ultratech. We're also going to do the Dirac Delta. Little, no, it's the same exact length as the Dirac Delta, which is really cool. And then I'll put it up against the um, Scarab 2 as well, which... I believe is the biggest, that's going to be the biggest one of the bunch. Scarab 2 and the Combat Troodon are about the same, but the Scarab 2 is a little thicker, right? So the actual measurements, let me move some of these back here so we can get the tape measure in. The actual measurement of this guy, it's 9 inches on the dot, yeah. And your blade length uh, is, it's 3.75 on the blade length and your cutting edge is three and a half. How about weight? It is, is it? I don't know. We'll do weight with some of these other ones. Let's do by itself here, 5.19 for the Glycon, 3.49 for the Ultratech. 4.41 for the Dirac Delta. It's, it's very similar in weight to the Combat Troodon, and then I think the Scarab is going to be the heaviest. Yeah, well, no, that's weird. <laughs> the Scarab 2 is not as heavy as the Combat Troodon or the Glycon. No, it's heavier. Okay, all right. So this is the third heaviest, right? So we're in this general territory for weight and it's slightly shorter um but definitely has look at this how they do this also the killer backspacer too god this is wicked look at that pocket clip oh boy there we go march of 2023 usa if you were wondering yeah this is a usa microtech Probably going to be kind of difficult to get. We're looking at M390 on this bad boy. Okay. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. I'm going to spend some time with this bad boy. Um, and then uh, I'll give you guys a full comprehensive video in the form of a review uh, a couple of weeks down the road. I will try to link this down below, but don't expect it to be available. It's, they, they don't have hundreds and hundreds of these things just sitting on shelves waiting for people to buy. I'm going to guess that these are in high demand. So... Anyways, thanks again. Uh, this gentleman here, let's make sure his Instagram is shown. Thanks again for providing this knife for review. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.